This is it. Mass Effect. End game. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush yep. for us. I must have been in too much of a hurry. Or we just yep, haven't run into it yet. The reality is, he doesn't need to set up a trap or ambush for us because bad driving. Uh, Mako? Mako. There we go. <laughs> Dramatic entry, immediate flop. Yep. By the way, what do you reckon, reckon all those are? Um, hibernation pots. It's a possibility. At least that's the optimistic option. The pessimistic? Um, bombs, giant dead lasers. The Protheans probably oh. tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Some uh, <coughs> interrupted. Rude. Oh my, how rude. It doesn't sound so good. There's gonna be an escape sequence, isn't there? That's solid. So it is. What's happening? It's a trap. Saren must have set an ambush. I don't think Saren's behind us. Yeah, Saren's powerful, but it's not that powerful. Well, let's see what's down here. Eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. 
How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. If he turns on the Relay, the Reapers can wipe out the Council and the Citadel fleet in one fell swoop. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Mr. Miguel actually recording this. Now, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. Fair enough. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attack, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the Relay Network. The Conduit's not a weapon. It's a backdoor into the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. The genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. 
Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingent. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. I'll stop, Saren. Just tell me how. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. Mm. The Protheans altered the Citadel signals. They broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized that organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. You have any questions on these three? Mm, I think I can figure out the rest. Mm -hmm. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab not really much to ask about the one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not still alive. No, no, most definitely not. Hey, remember earlier when we were leaving the Citadel? Something they don't know what did broke? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh huh. It's tragic. For all their great achievements, the Protheans lost everything, just like my people. Even their last plan failed. You can get there in time. Their plan only failed in time. On that one. Fair enough. Let's get moving. Excuse me, gentlemen. I don't have time for your bullshit. Bump. <coughs> Terrain. Always going to be my worst enemy. Yep. Especially when driving. 
I bet you could fight with this without issues. <laughs> Probably, knowing me. Is this like like a Halo escape sequence but the other way around? Uh I'm not sure I can make a definitive statement about that. Bye guys, bye guys. Shit. <coughs> All part of the plan. Sure it was. All part of the plan. Beep. Beep. <coughs> well, me. Later. Sorry, no time to talk. Places to be. Triple kill. Dang it. Last radius ain't big enough. I'm tempted to put elevator music on. That won't be necessary. <laughs> there! The conduit! It's incredible! We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay. And these geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. Cool, now let me drive. Wait. A statue in the shape of funny night did last week. It just clicked with you, didn't it? Oh look, a timer! <laughs> so, yes, Halo escape sequence. Not like we have time to stop and kill one of them. Oh god, Mako is, uh, about done. Well, as it doesn't actually matter. I actually got a little scared for, for a second. Critical failure was detected across all monitored systems. Please begin <clears throat> emergency evacuation. Damn it, every time I say it, this is totally uh, not yet for the battle. Beat, beat, motherfuckers. I just slap some omni gel on it, it'll be fine. Yeah, it's gonna get up just not right away. Right. Definitely not right away. We don't have the time to slap some omni gel on it. Kind of wish we did though. Because of course they did. Come on, let's go. So, getting in an elevator right now is not a tactical flaw, right? Totally. I'm surprised that didn't catch a more. No, he's just killing the keepers.
no. They're not enough to slow down of oh, her. Bowl in a china shop. You know the worst part is this probably would have been faster if we had any gone to the other planet because we would have been start to stop silent. <laughs> Which other planet? And if we hadn't gone to it, Ilos. Yeah. Yeah, but then we wouldn't have the uh, the data file. Yeah, we wouldn't have the info. The data file that the AI gave us. Yeah. The one that probably the that can give us a chance against Saren. the elevator. Suit up. Outside. I mean, if we had been here, we could have stopped Saren before he actually got to the... Maybe. Until Saren knocked on the door. Right, so we could have stopped Saren until S Saren knocked on okay, the door. Okay, okay. Sovereign, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Listen, English is hard. So I've noticed. Right, guess we're climbing. Looks like we're doing this the hard way. Yep. Yeah, it was just a long straight hallway. Full of enemies. Sounds about right. <laughs> I've got plenty of ammo for that, right? Sure. Infinite is usually plenty. I we still actually have gravity here. We don't. Magnetic boots? Yeah, mag boots. Does that mean we could technically go like along the walls and stuff if we want them? I don't think we have gravity. And strictly speaking, we are going along the walls. We're climbing up the tower. Yeah, but you know what I mean. At least we're not using the, the Dead Space version of the No Gravity Zone segments. Oh, please don't remind me of Dead Space. There's a reason I never played it. And it's not the just no because... And it's not because of the um, survival horror aspect. Get up, Tally, so I can heal you. Yeah. There's some pretty good aspects about Dead Space. The No Gravity Zone segments were not one of those. The need to kill literally everything that existed and everything that doesn't that doesn't exist did not help. I mean, I guess there's that. Thought that one had my name on it. Yeah, I also did not have the patience for you know. Take, okay, I entered a new room. First thing I need to do: check for corpses. I mean, it's not like you need to do it. It's just like you. Safe. It's just if you don't, the corpse is gonna get up and rip your head off. Exactly, it's your safe editing, bro. Listen, if I don't play a game like that, I'll fight them for it. I guess I'm just as the candle is like fighting this, bro. A lot of things are candle like fighting this, bro, really. How much further we got? Oh, not a little ways. <laughs> So, I'm surprised we haven't fought the flooding mass effect. Don't. Listen, I'll be honest with you. After as many as many years as I've spent fighting the flood, I've had I, I've had my I've had my satisfaction of them. If you can have such a thing. I mean, we've had the flood in Halo. We've had the flood in work, and We've had the flood in Starcraft. There's that we too. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of, you know, been exhausted. On one side, yes, but at the same time, it's it's one of those space drops that 
scan the air not too bad. I guess. Without a horde of alien locust parasite things. Or something similar to it, yeah. I mean, uh, if that's what you want your um, sci fi, then uh, I guess that's you. I'm not saying they need to exist, I'm just saying I'm so used to it. It's strange. Get <laughs> that through you. I guess we do have Tally here, so yeah. Yeah. She can just hack them. She's kind of powerful in this game, considering how many times you're fighting synthetics. Yeah. I'm sorry, what? Oh. I thought he was in the floor for a second. <laughs> oh, you can actually hang. In very specific circumstances. So long and fit with combat that it almost looks like a Mako segment. <laughs> it's basically Mako segment put on the ground, complete with turrets. Well, on your foot. Hey, you're the one who said we didn't have time to uh, slap some Omni Gel on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Would it have fit in the elevator? No, not in the slightest. That sounds very non halo player of you. <laughs> I know, right? They didn't even let me try. No, we both know you would have tried. It's so only right for that matter. At least I'm guessing that was Stanley. I don't know. So Sovereign's a little big. Hmm? So oh, yeah. Sovereign's a bit big. Yeah. A hatch. I wonder where it goes. Hey, remember when Ashley made a comment about good defensive positions? Yes. It's also when I replied with, there's gonna be a fight with this. <laughs> yep. Also, look at the shape of this entire council chamber. It does look a bit familiar, though. It's, it's a fucking reaper. The evidence is right is right in front of you the entire time. Yeah, it's not like wood. It's not like me or the castle within you, but the reports actually do look like. Yeah, not until you know it's too fucking tight. Yeah, that's kind of the river strength. Well, talent, the fact that they're really fucking strong, but they're not even. Yep. Sorry if I kept you waiting. You've lost. You know that, don't 
around you. In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. Oh boy. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should yes. thank you, Shepard. After Vermeer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts I are gone. Prove me right. <laughs> I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us. And Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Sovereign's he just killed all of the organic stain. The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of it the future. More the evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign. Never mind. You could be more wrong. <laughs> Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I am sorry. It is too late for me. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Hey, final boss, top down. Yeah. I mean, that's basically kind of sort of redeeming yourself. <coughs> Save the Safari? Yeah. Yes. Press E to win. <laughs> that's what I meant to put it. Angel's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick! Open the station's arms! Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You can't sacrifice human lives to save the Council. What have they ever done for us? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. Exactly. We can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. We have to hold them back until Sovereign's exposed. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or we'll hold back. Uh, what does concentrate on Sovereign mean? I actually don't remember. I'll let you choose the other one. <laughs> you can't make the choice. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope you know what you're doing, Commander. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess.
Like, part of me just wanted to do side just to screw the constant. But part of me is also the one that goes well, to the fact that the constant doesn't is actually really bad. Concentrate on Sovereign. Yeah, well. We're playing a we're playing Paragon here, right? Yeah. Make sure he's dead. Well, to be fair, part of me thinks that screw the council is the Paragon choice. Well, yeah. <laughs> You'd think it would be. I think we should have real not rest for this one. He's Shields now. And shield overload is basically nothing. As you need any more. Is the amount of human losses based on how long you take on this? Not to my knowledge. Okay, so it's just a face by face. Come on, go down. That is not the button I wanted to push, but okay. Yeah, so I'm um, about Rex taking a head. 
I'm sure he'd have a second thing for the fight test. Uh, I've got a great consolation. <laughs> and since Sovereign was linked to that, that's the problem with assuming the right control. Now's our chance. Yep. It's <laughs> on my flank. We're going in. So, yes, the normal are quite a bit of firepower. <laughs> yes. Here's right through a Reaper capital ship. That's gonna do... Time to move! <laughs> it's like, time to go! So, um, how many people are about to get hit by all of the... drifting... rakes? Because, you know, there's a lot of people living on those wings, aren't there? Mm-hmm. Like a little fallen metal can stop me. They could not make a sequel otherwise. Much less. How many now? Uh, yeah. Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize I hate saying I told you so, but I told you so. <laughs> Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? What do you think? Captain Anderson, of course. <laughs> we need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? He must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. <laughs> Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. That's the point. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. 
I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council. We have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. And that is why Commander Anderson. Well, with that, that's the end of Mass Effect. Next up, Mass Effect 2. What can possibly go wrong after such a great ending? Everything, of course. See y'all next time. Bye.